All right, we've got this going. So we take a look. Work planes, that's what these are. So I've got my front, my top, and my right side. Okay, so those are the different places I can start my first sketch. And to do so, in my top left, I've got the sketch button. I'm going to click on it. It's going to ask me, what do I want to sketch on? And I want to sketch on the top. Okay, and you can see that sketch one and is now attached to that top work plane. And here's our sketch we're going to draw. It's a one by one rectangle to start with. And uh, just to show you, if I messed up and I was supposed to draw on the front, I can delete this top plane and I can put it on the front. And that works even if you've got already got some sketch things on it. Sometimes it breaks it, sometimes it doesn't. And it depends how you do it. So now that I've got my sketch attached to my top, I am going to rotate to the top using the view cube. Now, underneath, uh, it, I already clicked on it, but if you click this down arrow, you'll get different rectangular options. And on my first one, I always like to do this center point rectangle right there. So the center point rectangle, I click on my origin point and I start dragging out. You will see down at the bottom, it says 3.04 and on the left one point, whatever i'm gonna get it i don't know it doesn't matter click so now you can see it changed all the lines are blue and then i got 1.642 okay i uh, don't use the mouse don't touch the mouse get rid of the mouse stop the mouse all you have to do is type one right now one enter. now the bottom is one and you'll notice as i did that that some of the lines turn black that means that they're fully constrained that means they cannot move Okay, I'm going to go in, and, th and this is the error people make. I could type one again, uh, but usually people try and click on it and they want to change that one. They click on it, they start a new box. You messed up. We can fix that in a moment. But I want you to see the box um, can still grow up and down, but it's not going to move left and right because of that constraint, right? It's not going to change. It's one. So we constrain that one. The blue lines need to be constrained now. Since I already clicked and I messed up, I can use my dimension tool right here. You can see the shortcut is D and dimension tool. I'm going to click right there. And we want this to be one as well. All right? Boom. Now we need another box. I could go up here and click again, but I'm going to start using my shortcut key, which my shortcut key starts with S and I'm going to push S. And then I'm going to find my rectangle that I like to use and go from the center point. And go out a little ways and we are going to dimension this one as well so instead of giving uh, this distance I'm gonna click between these two okay and let's double check I was supposed to be an eighth inch so uh, which is 0.125 and I can go enter there and then I can compare this blue line to that edge and uh, this time I'm gonna type it different one divided by eight one eight so now none of the lines are blue, they're not, they're fully constrained, and I have a complete sketch. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my sketch, and now all the dimensions are gone, but that's okay. If I wanted to go back in, I could double click it and make some changes. Then I'm gonna move on and extrude this thing. So I'm gonna click the extrude button, and right here, we're gonna make a new part. We will add uh, extrusions we will remove extrusions later on and what it wants to know what I want to extrude so I got to click on the sketch that I just made and if I click there it'll extrude that or if I wanted to do the whole thing we'd be good to go and it's just making a block I don't want a block though so you can see this is what I um, clicked in order and so if I didn't want that second one I can delete it off okay and now I've just got that when I start as well, I like to click on the symmetric one, okay? And this is because, when we, remember we did the center point um, rectangle? Now my sketch planes are going right through the center of this thing, okay? And that's important. We're going to mirror a part later. And if you don't do this part correctly, it's not going to work correctly. So uh, I designed the rectangles so that they were off of the origin point. And then when I did the extrusion I went symmetric I'll take it off for a second but if I don't do that the work planes at the bottom that's not very helpful I want it through the middle 
so it is symmetric in through the middle. Now I'm going to give it the distance that I want, and I want it four inches for our inner. And we have got our first extrusion ready to roll. Green checkbox. Boom. Now we are going to uh, create some circles up the side of this thing. I'm going to look at the front and I'm going to start a new sketch. And instead of clicking on a work plane, I'm going to click on the face of this edge. Right, so right here. And you can see now that the sketch two right here is not on the front. It's on this face right here. Okay. And that's important. So we go to the front. Okay. And I'm going to make my first circle. So I've got a circle right here. And when I pull to the middle, you'll see it's going to automatically try and get it in the center. And that's a good thing. I want it in the center. If I didn't have my center point rectangle, then I, it I wouldn't be able to do this. I'd have to calculate it. So that's another reason why we went uh, center point rectangle and symmetric extrusion. So now I'm clicking on the center and I'm dragging this out. Double check our sizes. So on this, it needs to be 0 0.375. 0 0.375. Enter. Then you'll notice it's blue. Let's see, where can this thing move? I'm pushing, get rid of my tool, and I'm going to drag this up and down. It will not go left and right because it was constrained on the left and right. So it can go up and down. So let's constrain the up and down, and it should be 0.5 to the center from the bottom. So grab my dimension tool again, center point, clicking on the bottom. Dragging it out to the side, and we said it was supposed to be 0.5 inner. Now it is constrained. It is not blue anymore. So next, we are going to pattern this up. I don't want to draw a bunch of circles. I'm going to just pattern them up. And so we're going to use this tool up here, the pattern tool. Pattern tool right here, let me pattern. And then I'm going to just click and hold, draw a rectangle around that circle. And it's already trying to, it's trying to build them out to the right. I don't want them out to the right. I'm going to double click that 3x. I don't want three of them. I just want one of them, right? But I do want it to go up. So I'm going to double click this, and I need four of them. And the spacing is actually correct already. It should be one, right? So now we're good to go on that sketch. And you'll see my mouse has a little green checkbox. If I click, it will put those in. If you messed up, you can still go back and change some of these if you needed to. You want to post them together. You want to add more. Uh, whatever you need to do. Okay, so there are, that was our linear pattern tool. Now, we are done with this sketch. I'm going to go in the checkbox. And we're going to rotate so I can see it. I like to see my extrusions when I do them. And we're going to click on the extrude button. This time we're going to remove some material, and I'm going to we're going to cut these circles all the way through, and so I'm going to click on here blind and go through all. Okay, and so now we're removing material. We're going through the all the whole thing, and now it needs to know what I need want to extrude. So I could click each one of these, right? You can see it's cutting those out as I go, and or. If you only did what you wanted, you could click on that last sketch that we did, and it will get all of them at once. So you could click it individually or click that last sketch that we did. Um, this part right here, the merge scope. So once we have more complicated and we have two parts, um, then sometimes it's like, should I cut out a part one or part two is what the question is. And so you would say, hey, I want to cut through both of them. So you uh, merge to all. or you only wanted to cut out a part one, you would make sure you selected part one right there. And I could take it off of this one and put it on part two. So uh, we'll talk about that when it comes up again later. So we are done with our part one first part. We're going to get the other part here pretty soon. Whew, that was a lot. Good job.